big news. Iran has just claimed it hit Israel with hypersonic missiles called Fatah missiles. Iran is so confident about this weapon that it called its use a turning point. Now, this raises a major question. What is the Fatah missile and how deadly can it be? The Fatah is not just a single missile, it's a whole series of advanced Iranian missiles designed to strike fast, hard, and accurately. The first version, Fatah-1, was introduced in 2023 with a range of 1,400 kilometers. Just a few months later, a new variant, Fatah-2, was launched with an upgraded range of 1,500 kilometers. Fatah-1 is a hypersonic ballistic missile built for speed and impact, while Fatah-2 followed as a low-flying cruise missile designed for smarter, more precise strikes. So what makes Fatah so dangerous? Iran claims the Fatah missile is a game-changer, flying at speeds of Mach 13 to 15, about 5 km per second, with a strike range of 1,400 to 1,500 km, enough to hit Israel in under seven minutes. It can fly low, dodge modern air defenses, and even change course mid-air multiple times. In short, it's like a ghost missile, lightning fast, unpredictable, and deadly accurate. So the question is, how did Iran pull this off? Iran worked silently for years on this tech, mixing solid fuel engines with smart guidance systems, the missile has a destructive blast radius of hundreds of meters, enough to level a military base or command center. Iran hasn't officially disclosed the exact number of Fateh-1 or Fateh-2 missiles in its arsenal, but based on expert assessments and Iran's missile production capabilities, it is likely that Iran has between 100 to 300 Fateh-1 missiles ready for launch. Since Fateh-1 is based on Iran's existing missile technology, it is believed to have been mass-produced. In contrast, there may be around 50 to 150 Fatah-2 missiles in Iran's arsenal, as this variant is newer and more complex to develop. During the October 2024 conflict, Iran fired dozens of Fatah-1 missiles. However, this is the first time they've openly claimed to use it in the 2025 war. So is it really hypersonic or just hype? While Iran is confident, many Western experts and defense analysts are skeptical. They say it might be fast, but not truly hypersonic by modern standards.